New this morning, a very well known Boise building is having a very big birthday this year. The former St. Paul Baptist Church turns 100 years old in 2021. The building is now the home of the Idaho Black History Museum in Julia Davis Park. The church originally sat on the corner of Warm Springs and Broadway. Built in 1921, it was moved to this location in the park in 1998. It was the first black church in Idaho. Black History Museum Executive Director Philip Thompson explains how it all got started. It's, it's a beautiful history and if people don't often think about that at the same time that is actually my um, great great grandfather and his father in law came to Idaho in 1905, started the church in 1909 and then they were had the finances and the, and the ability and acquired the land from actual local Basque woman and built and erected the church and it opened in 1921. So at that same time, people are often aware of the Tulsa race riots that were going on at that time elsewhere. So when black people were being directly preyed upon and tortured and terrorized in other parts of America, we were able to find refuge in a place that people often don't think of as a refuge for you know, black Americans in the state of Idaho. Um, the building operated until 1995. They outgrew it. My great grandmother, who was obviously my great great grandfather's daughter, who's still alive, she didn't die until her 90s, and she um, was insistent that we did all we can to preserve that building in some way, shape, or form. And then um, she ordered my mother to get to work on finding a way to do so. Um, fast forward to today, we've been open for 20 some odd years now. And with this 100th anniversary, will you have a particular day to celebrate the building itself with you know a program or tours and things like that? Um, to, to ensure that we're completely safe, and also it's the anniversary of the Tulsa race riot, it was May 31st, so May 29th, we're working with um, an artist by the name of Patrick Hunter to do an event. Um, he's the one who paints the paintings upside down. He's been on TV a few times. He's traveled a lot right now. He was in Boise for a while. We met back in the day. Um, we're going to celebrate our 100-year anniversary around that because, again, this comparison of the Black experience in Idaho to the national norm to really celebrate what we've been afforded here and to ensure that it continues because now that the demographics of Idaho is kind of changing, the, the rhetoric and the politics have also changed with it, that we want to ensure that people are aware of our history and that we keep, keep it going as far as being a uh, place that's ripe with opportunity and does not exclude any cross-section of society in, in, the, in the present day. Right now, Thompson says the Idaho Black History Museum is closed because of concerns about COVID-19. He's looking to reopen to the public on a limited basis in mid to late March, but it all depends on the coronavirus numbers. And again, they hope to mark the 100th anniversary of the church itself in May. This Sunday morning at 630 on Viewpoint, Thompson also explains the thought provoking story the Black History Museum tells. And all next week on Wake Up Idaho, we're celebrating Black History Month and Black Idahoans who have shaped Idaho's history. Check back.